What is up guys, it's your boy Zach Colburn um, coming back at you with another video, another talk. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, what I like to do is I like to share my own personal stories of what I'm going through and the things that I'm struggling with so you could take my lessons and apply them to your own life, to your own journey, to your own goals. So, I just moved to San Diego to follow my dreams and to chase something much bigger than what was possible back home in Monterey so right now I've been here for about a month and I'm in a position to where I can literally do anything but I'm not sure what I want to do I can I can go into any any direction I want to right at this moment and I am so conflicted internally because I don't know what I want to do and it's important because what I've made with the choice I make today as a 20 year old will determine the direction I go into the rest of my life so that's it's a really big choice and I really I'm really just struggling to make that decision and I don't know what I want to do there's so many possibilities but I wanted to share what I do in these moments where I when I don't know what to do so these are just certain things that I always make sure to keep in place even when I don't know what to do so the number one thing is the thing that's been in my life uh, you know, on a consistent basis. It's constantly there. It's the num it's the probably the most constant thing that's been in my life, and that's the gym. You know, I love fitness, I love working out, and I know that will be a part of my life for the rest of my life. So, it's it really helps me to know that that will always be there in my life. You know, no matter what I do, you know, the gym will always be there. It'll always be my home. It'll always keep me feeling safe almost. And it's just what I love to do. So I'm gonna focus on that. I'm gonna pursue that because that is what I know best. The second thing I always do is have a book. So I just got these two new books, The 80-20 Rule and Awaken the Giant. I'll be reading these two. I'm always constantly having a book because I believe that reading is um, just as much of a workout as in a, a physical workout. It's a workout for your brain and I think that training your thoughts and training your, you know, your mind, it, it really helps develop the mentality it takes to be successful and I think that getting into a reading habit is just so important. Um, the last thing um, that I always make sure to do when I don't know what to do is to have a job. Have a, a savings routine. So you know that when you do decide on what you want to do or when you're ready to make a move, you have money to, um, to spend. You have money to invest. You have money to do what it is you need to do. You don't want to waste your time doing nothing. You want to be productive so you can get somewhere. You don't have to know exactly where you want to go, but you need to be doing something so you know that you're going to get somewhere, okay? And then once you do figure out where you want to go, you're already that much closer to being there. So, I this is these are the three things I always keep. The gym, that's number one for me. Uh, having books to read, so I'm always getting fresh ideas. I'm always getting fresh, um, fresh motivation and fresh, uh, you know, just a different mindset at all times. And then uh, money, so having a job, so um, you can be ready for when something does happen and you're ready to make a move. You ha you're ready. So. Now, the reason why I chose these three things specifically is because even if you don't know what you want to do or don't know where you want to go, if you continue to do these three things, which is go to the gym, read books, and save your money, it doesn't matter if you know what you want to do or what you don't want to do. You're, you're going to continue to grow. That's why I chose these things because You'll continue to grow your physique, you'll continue to grow your savings account and your mindset and you'll cultivate the habits that are needed to execute on the things when, when you do figure it out. So that's why I chose these three things is because you will continue to grow as a person even if you don't know what to do. Those are just some things and some tips that I have for when you don't know what to do and you, you know, you need to do something. So. That's it guys, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe, tell your friends about it, the vid, uh, this, channel has been growing, grow, or this channel has been growing a lot within the last year and I love everyone that's showing support and listening to my stories and just really digesting what I have to say. So that means a lot guys, I want to thank you, peace out.